Dub C here, and we're back with some updates and mail call. So first, I want to talk about. Unfortunately, there's no be no survival Saturday. I'm gonna post this in place of that. The no survival Saturday was kind of do the aftermath of the winter trip that I was on. Um, if you want to see that, I'll put a link up here. That was an epic trip, uh, but it was very challenging. And uh, when I came back, I was like, my gear was in disarray. I actually still had some gear that was frozen inside the bags that the first night we stayed and all the water kind of came inside the tent it was still frozen when i got back to unpack it i mean it's extra clothes luckily i had those but uh, i'll definitely take some more precautions on next trip it was a very ambitious trip and i learned a lot it was very eye-opening and i plan to go back at it next year because i'm a very firm believer of you know it kicked my butt one time but that'll be the last time because I want to go out there and I want to definitely have an awesome trip. There's a lot of things I wanted to film that I didn't get to film. But again, it was just very awesome trip, but very ambitious. A couple things I would definitely want to add. Um, I, def I want to get a motor, motor support, like a snowmobile or a four-wheeler. I think that would have been pretty awesome to have out there to get around or in case somebody got hurt. And speaking of in case somebody got hurt, um, I have an item that I probably should have had with me. This is... Uh, tourniquet. I recently picked this up. Uh, Recon Medical. I'm not sure if this is a great one. It was rated high on Amazon. Uh, but I want to add it to the kit because I'm out there swinging an the axe, breaking that tent free of ice. Um, Ryan's processing wood, trying to break that thing free of ice. I mean, using axes out there, knives. Um, pretty hardy wound on a leg or arm, and you don't have a tourniquet. I mean, there's ways, other ways to do it with paracord, etc. But having a tourniquet, you know, been nice to be able to get that blood flow to stop so we can actually take the next step because if you don't get the blood flow to stop you're pretty much done so definitely going to look into that i'm going to look into waterproof bags um just going to go read through my gear i mean the best thing about going on that trip was experiencing it and understanding what i need to take because i did probably end up taking too much stuff but now i know a um, couple more updates i want to talk about february 2nd i got the drawing for the knife and the ration, I have all the names cut up and put in here, and uh, I'll be drawing that probably at Survival Saturday, because I am going to do a Survival Saturday this weekend, and I'm probably out there right now, and I want to, uh, I got a bunch of cool stuff planned, so I'm excited for that. But February 2nd is also when uh, Rachel Sunshine is putting out her Sunshine 24-hour rations, so definitely look out for that. Um, got the Megabyte Edition, definitely want to check that out, but she also has a bunch of other variations you should see. You can look up on Facebook, or I'll put a link down for a channel down below. And then I want to talk about ice fishing. So really got me hooked, and we attempted to ice fish on that trip. And I want to get back into that. I really enjoyed it as a kid, and I kind of stepped away just like everything else. Um, so I want to get back into that. So I'm kind of acquire some gear. Um, again, a snowmobile would be nice for that, so I can have a shanty or some kind of uh, thing to camp on the the ice and do some ice fishing some catch and cook i mean i want to get out there d during the season and do that so kind of maybe intermingle that in between my shelter visits and just uh my overnights but now it's time to get to the mail calls so i want to show off and i again i appreciate everybody in the community you guys are all awesome and i just want to show appreciation and you know saying thank you showing some of the items i got and i shown you know i'm very excited to do some of the reviews on them but just an awesome community i can't say it enough so let's go ahead and check out some of the stuff i got okay first up i want to say special thanks to matt he really hooked me up on this one he sent me a package it had an xmre blue line in it never had one of those the 2005 chicken fajita i'm really excited to try that out I got an xmre halal meal vegetarian chili looks awesome got some biscuits some creamsicle cookies drink powder chocolate never seen that kind of packaging before and then the ic powders is kind of the same way Two packs of pate, a chocolate bar, it looks like a French RCR commando bar, and some coffee. So really awesome, excited to take these out and have them on my trips and utilize them for uh, reviews and whatnot. So thanks again, Matt. Really awesome. And I am filming in a different spot because my room is crazy right now with organizing gear and getting it ready for trips. So that's why I'm kind of a different spot. Okay, next items we got are from Chris. Thank you very much, Chris. I really appreciate it. We got some Bridgeford ready to eat Italian sausage with sauce, like uh, two of these sandwiches. These things are awesome for on the go. Uh, you can eat them hot, cold, 
does not matter. You just put them in your pocket, warm them up, and you can keep like hiking or moving while you're eating them. So these are really awesome. They'll go great with the trips. And then this is really interesting. This is a menu number one grilled beef steak. I'm not sure what year it is. It's either 99 or 2001. The reason I was thinking it's 2001 is actually I think that's the first year they had U.S. government property resale of uh, is unawful, and I think that it's also a merit wall because of the packaging printing. And they have seen in this era the printing for merit wall. They kind of did this like crazy offset, whereas the like this is a 2005 from Warnick has the standard where it actually shows you know the the full frame. And I, I actually like I like this printing a little bit better because it's more uniform, whereas this one's kind of crazy. But it's still very interesting on the story and why they did that. You never know if it was a cost savings or something that they did that for. But I thought that was really cool. But I'm really excited to review this. He said he actually had a story where he got it for hunting back then, and he's been storing it. Um, and so it's been under good storage conditions. So I think this one will just be perfect to bust out and eat one day. So really excited to review that. Thanks again, Chris. These items rock. Okay, next items we got are from Average Joe. He has a channel on YouTube. It's awesome. He does reviews. He tries out candy. Now he's been cooking up some cool food, like uh, I think he did Swedish meatballs. He just did some sticky rice. I'll put a link down for his channel down below. But here's here's some really cool items. All right, so you got this mask that says, I love poutine. That's awesome because that stuff is awesome if you guys never had it. I love the Canadian IMP that comes with that. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually had like real restaurant style uh, poutine, but I definitely want to try it one of these days. Maybe go north one and check it out. Um, but also got some cool silverware utensils for the ration, which I'll get into that in just a second. Got some cool classic uh, crunchy chocolates, some uh, chocolate coins, Canadian or Canada socks, more Canada. Uh, Canada socks and then this stuff is really cool this is um thrills like gum and it still tastes like soap so that's really interesting I'm excited to try that I've seen that before but I've always wanted to try it so I'm glad he sent me something to check out all right now the ration look at this massive thing so he's got an average Joe MRE ration this is a 24 hour that he made and I believe he has some more for trade but look at all that stuff this thing is packed I will be reviewing this um, I'm excited to bust into that but if you want to contact him on Facebook or his channel he's got this these up for trade uh, so you know if you have rations that you want to trade them he'll make these one of these up for you send it your way and like I said it looks really cool there's lots of all kinds of different stuff they're wrapped up it's got the cool logo on it really awesome really appreciate you sending the stuff my way average Joe and I'm really excited to try that ration out alright this was a mystery box um, I got too excited, and I actually got too excited for all this stuff because it's like Christmas when I get these packages in the mail, and it's hard for me to keep opening them. And uh, like I said, I got back from that trip, and I was pretty exhausted. And I busted into these trips, and I actually started eating some of the mystery box um, because I love eating MRE food. But Adam sent me a gigantic mystery box full of components. He gave me some of these rations from Minotaur Trading Company. I'm really excited to try this. I might try this uh, in the Survival Saturday this weekend. It look, it's like a Kissel. I've heard about it. Always wanted to try it. And he also put in some survival items, like a little container you can put stuff in. It looks like some tweezers and a safety pin in here. And I've never seen one of these. This is actually a cold shower. So this is a cooling fuel towel. So it must be for on the hot days. I bet that would be really nice. But thanks, Adam. You rock. Sorry I didn't show the whole box. Um, it was loaded with all kinds of components, uh, filled French toast, first strike bars, super awesome. I just, I, like I said, I got too excited, ate some of the stuff. I actually took some uh, with me to the trip. So it was really cool of you to send that, that one on my way, and I really appreciate it. Okay, next items we got are from Jim. Thank you for sending this awesome stuff. I've never seen this before. This is a, He actually sent an uh, envelope with the information as well. So start off with the vintage french powdered milk can this is original uh, vintage french powdered milk can it's discarded during the war but used by arvn vc and nba to hold band bandages drink water and often found in the nba squad medic bag with cotton bandages inside 
So the uh, these actually are it sounds like they're watertight and they keep things really dry. So it's really cool and you can kind of look at it. It's really hard to get the top off, but once it does, and the stuff with all the he sent all these uh, food provision bars, and they're actually for specific like uh, divisions. It looks like from the information he sent. But yeah, this can is really awesome. It's a vintage can, and it fits on there real tight, like definitely airtight or at least a nice water seal to keep things dry. And then it's just really cool to add to the collection. And you can sell, you know, this the age and like the cool printing on it or stamping, should I say? But really awesome item. Now the next thing is this is a um, Vietnam mess kit. So it's kind of like a mess kit I've never seen before. It's really nice setup. So you got the kind of like a handle where you can boil water and then like a little tray to make up food. And that fits in there. And then you can probably boil, boil water or hold stuff in here. But really cool setup. And I really, I've been really liking mess kits and like seeing different ones and you know how they perform, how they interact. And this is really cool. It like uh, locks down here and then there's a little lock on the side. You slide it in this keyway. And it keeps it from uh, flipping back and forth. But really cool item. Uh, never seen that before. And then these bars, these bars, I believe, are like for specific, like, uh, I believe ones for the pilots. This is uh, this this one's actually for pilots. Yeah, I believe these ones are for the uh, the army itself. And then these ones are looking like they're like maybe for civilian use. But these were issued to uh, I believe the military, but now they're open for like commercial. So sent some of these away. I'm excited to try these out. Uh, they look really cool. Like this one's looking like it's like a chocolate. And I'm not sure about the other two, but thank you very much. These are awesome items. Uh, I've never seen this stuff before. And it's, like I said, very appreciative of all my community members. You guys are all awesome. So I got some really awesome stuff. Again, I really appreciate it. If you guys want to do trades with me, send me an email. Uh, if you want to send something my way, I got a P.O. box. It's down in the description below. Uh, send it my way. Uh, if you want me to review some, send it my way. I'll check it out. I'm really excited. That I love this hobby and the fact that you get to try different things. And I've been doing it for quite some time, and I still run into new stuff almost like every day. Or somebody sends me something cool that I've never seen before, and uh, just expands my knowledge and my enjoyment of the hobby. So, really excited to do some great things. Got some great trips coming. Hopefully, better plan than uh, the big trip we had. Um, but I'm definitely excited to do more. So that's all I got now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.